Okay, welcome to this video on properties. Now, the reason we talk about properties is two reasons. Firstly, a lot of the nodes have properties attached to them. And you can see here when looking at the nodes, there's, there's two different types of text. It's text that's italic and text that's normal. The italic options or properties are optional. So I can right click and just say, use the default value. You can see that's already ticked, right? If it's not ticked in your case, you've only got to right click on these and say, use default value and they will re retain themselves as part of the environment. The important part here is for the reference axis for the cross section mirrored, I don't need to provide a value because you can see by default, cross section mirrored is false and the reference axis is five. And you'll see where I'm going with this shortly. There's also an additional parameters area, allowing us to set a whole lot more parameters as part of that creation method, so that you're not having to post modify the beams after the case or after the fact. So let's have a look how this works. So let's just, I'll leave them there for the moment. You see at the moment I have a beam drawn in space and this beam is coming from this creation method here. So from a point by direction and length. So I need a, an insert point, a direction, which is a vector, um, an orientation vector for the beam, and a length. And in this case, I am going to specify where the beam is going to be inserted as a reference axis. I can just put in a numerical value because each one of these has a number assigned to it. As you can see when I select um, uh, upper middle, you can see it is referred to as one. If I change it to middle middle, you can see it's referred to, uh, it hasn't, hasn't executed yet, but if I execute it, is four. Okay, and you click here, you can see it's now switched to four, right? So when I keep changing these values and hit run, because I've got mine set at manual, you can see the change appears here in the screen. Let's leave it at middle and run. Now, the, the, the interesting part here is that you can see the reference axis or the orientation vector is the vector of the web axis or the web direction of the beam. And you can see it set to the Y axis of the world UCS. But if I switch this to the x-axis for orientation and hit run, you can see I get the other way. Now, this is all good, fine and beautiful, but what if I want to set more as part of these creation methods? So up here, I've got uh, another one, another uh, point, direction, orientation, length, right? This is a slightly different node, but still very, very similar. So, but in this case, you can see I've got a wire connecting to the additional parameters area. And this is because I actually have a, a list of three properties that I'm going to add to the creation of this steel beam, being the profile name, as in the section size, the model role, and the material grade. Now, how did I do that? Well, you can see here I've got in my purple box or my pink box, I've got a node called property by name and value. Now, this is what is creating that list of properties. So you can see this one here. If I, you know, pin that, you can see there's a value there. Move this one up and we'll pin that. You can see the model role is horizontal underscore beam. And for the last one, you can see the material grade is steel. Now, to do that, we need to utilize the steel properties node. So if you recall, under every creation of every element type that is, exists in Dynamo, I have a object type properties node. So in this case, um, steel properties, right? So if I grab this node and zoom in here, just to give you a bit of a, 
And look, you can modify all these properties during the creation, right? Now, obviously, you wouldn't uh, manipulate, let's say, the start and end point of the beam. But you may want to post-modify other prop, uh, other existing beams that you've already created, for example. But whether or not you know you want to add the approval comment, whether you want to add the model role, the model, you know, the description, um, you know, tick boxes for whether certain parameters are used for numbering, right? There's a whole range of information or properties that you can set by using this properties node. So you can see here, as part of the first property by name and value, I'm passing the property of profile name to here. Then I'm using the concatenation of two strings. In this case, I'm grabbing the um, angle, equal angle definition. And there's some, you'll need to do some more learning to find out where this information comes, but I'm not going to cover that for now. So the catalog and the size concatenate together into a specific string that then gets passed to that property which then gets passed to that list, which then gets passed as that list of parameters to do the creation. So, you know, based on that, I've got a, you know, a model role here and a material grade here. And when you pass those to it, and I actually give it a insertion point. So let's go to Z here. Okay, so I'm gonna go from, 0 comma 0 I'm going to go in the direction of the x at uh, the z axis and let's go 1000 okay and I hit create or run rather and I now get that beam now if we go and check so let's go and look here at the list of our properties so it is a 4 by 4 by 7 16th angle. Let's go check. Is that true? 4 by 4 by 7 16th. Spot on. It's a model roll of horizontal beam. Now, this is actually that. You just can't see it. As I said, I'll provide another video to show you where you get that information from. And if you look at the material grade, it is steel. Okay. So, this list can be as big as you want, but it, as I said, it's optional. Hopefully that helps you because this, these parameters or these properties that you can add during the creation can be anything from beams to concrete objects through to bolts, through to grating, um, cameras, special parts, whatever it is that you want to do.